first need to make sure that the radio is in programming mode. To do this, you hold both the trim buttons on the radio inwards whilst turning on the radio. The radio will then enter programming mode. So we first set up a new model for the quad. We press and hold OK and this goes to the system setup. We then select the model select. Uh, you press and hold cancel down to select, which is counterintuitive, but that's the way it is. Um, we can then change the name. We're just going to go with quad 01 here, and um, that's the simplest. We'll then make sure that the model type is correct. It's on airplane or glider, and this is correct for a quad. And you push and hold cancel to confirm each step. Before we go on to binding the receiver, it's a good idea to assign some switches on the radio um, to the AUX channels. So we go back to the menu, um, but this time we select the function setup. We go down to AUX channels and select. We're going to set up channel 5 to be switch C. So then we press OK. Um, and we're going to set up channel 6 to be switch B. Once these two are selected, you press and hold cancel to save the AUX channels. We now move on to binding the receiver. The first thing to do is to plug in the bind plug that you get with the receiver, making sure to plug it into the bind rail as shown. We then turn on the radio whilst pressing the bind button on the bottom left. Then you need to power the receiver, and here we're using an ESC and a battery. The radio should then bind with the receiver. You'll know that you've been successful when the RX appears in the top right of the screen. The final piece of setup that we're going to go through uh, is setting up the failsafe in case of loss of signal. So we go back to the menu and go to the system setup and then we go down to RX setup. We go down to the failsafe option and in this case we want channel 3, i.e. the throttle. We switch this on and then when we go back a screen, the throttle should then be set to minus 100% complete the failsafe procedure, look at the manual for your flight controller. So that's it for the FlySky radio side of things, you just need to complete the setup on your flight controller. Thanks for watching and happy flying!